everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how my husband Joe has been meal prepping for the past two or three months. If you're into meal prepping, please give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments down below, do you meal prep? Is it something that you're interested in? I would love to know what your favorite recipes are. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Joe will start with marinating his meat. We normally have frozen chicken or frozen meat, and Joe will use whatever seasoning he's feeling that day. On this day, he was using some soy sauce and putting the frozen chicken in a bag with a bit of soy sauce to let it kind of soak up all the flavor as it was defrosting. While the chicken is marinating, Joe will turn on the oven to 425 and start prepping his veggies. Recently, he's been into these rainbow carrots from Trader Joe's. They're really pretty. I like them, but I think they're probably just for fall and winter. He always chops off the ends and then peels them and then chops them in smaller pieces before he puts them on the pan to roast. <music> typically cuts the carrots into three to four sections. He wants them to be in smaller pieces and cook evenly when they're in the oven. Once all the carrots are prepped, he puts them onto the pan. He wants them to be evenly distributed. He'll then drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. This is actually a Meyer lemon olive oil. It's really good. Then he'll pop the carrots into the oven and monitor them as he's cooking the rest of the meal. Joe likes to make some sort of grain with his lunch, and recently it's been this quinoa mixture from Trader Joe's. We like to empty out the contents into an OXO container, and then we just put the cookie instructions on the back so we don't forget how to make it. We're gonna start with boiling the water for the quinoa, and then while that is boiling, we're just going to cook the chicken. You just wanna drizzle a little bit of oil onto a cast iron skillet and get it nice and hot before you actually start cooking your chicken. <music> Jumping back to the quinoa, now that the water is boiling, we're going to add a little bit of butter per the instructions for the quinoa, and then we're going to add in a couple cups of quinoa. I'm pretty sure it was four cups of water, two tablespoons of butter, and two cups of quinoa, but don't quote me on that. It is on the Trader Joe's package. <laughs> While the quinoa is cooking and once Joe has laid out all his containers for lunch, he's going to start prepping all of the veggies for his breakfast burritos. He'll start by dicing up a large white onion and then cut up an avocado. <music> Next up, he's cutting the avocado, and a good trick for getting the pit out is to kind of stab the knife in the middle and then twist, and then that'll get the pit out of the avocado easily. 
From there, he just chops it up into smaller pieces. And because this avocado was a little bit underripe, he is going to kind of saute it up a little bit with the onions to soften it up before he puts it in the breakfast burritos. Awesome, chef. So helpful. Mm, hi, Namik. Now that the quinoa is ready and the chicken is cooked, he'll just kind of break up the chicken into smaller pieces so he can divide it up between the different lunches. And then we can actually start putting everything together in the Tupperware. He got this Tupperware from Amazon. It's glass, it has two sections. He's really been liking it and I'll definitely link it down below in the description box in case you're interested in that Tupperware. He starts with quinoa as the base in the larger section and then adds some bits of chicken on top. Then he'll use the other section for the carrots when those are done. a while maybe 30 minutes or so until the food has cooled and then we'll put the tops on and put it in the fridge for the breakfast burritos he's gonna use an Italian sausageless sausage on this day for his protein but he really just varies it up depending on what he's feeling he's gonna start by sauteing the veggies a little bit while he gets the scrambled eggs ready we use a dozen eggs every week for his breakfast burritos and he just likes to mix them up in a bowl before he actually starts scrambling them on the stove <laughs> He's using a bit of this garlic and crushed pepper, pink Himalayan sea salt seasoning. Once the veggies have cooked for a little while, then he adds in the protein. He just chops up the sausage with some scissors, super easy, and then just adds in a few scoops of salsa and then cooks it up for a little bit. Now that the veggies are done, we are ready to cook the eggs and then put this all together. So he'll just scramble the eggs for a few minutes on the stove, and once they are done, we can start assembling everything. He gets these extra large flour tortillas from Trader Joe's, our favorite store. He'll just put a bit of tinfoil out and then put all the toppings into the burrito. Super easy. He'll just do a couple scoops of the veggies, a couple scoops of the egg, and then he'll top it with some Mexican blend cheese. We get ours in bulk from Costco and genuinely go through it. So that is pretty much everything for the breakfast burrito. And then you just have to be careful to roll them up tightly. And then you can keep them in the freezer and reheat them for breakfast. And the best thing is that if you don't eat them all one week, they're in the freezer. So they'll last, which is great. Make sure all the corners are tucked in because otherwise it will explode when you reheat it. There we go. That is it for my video today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that this inspired you if you're looking to getting into meal prep or if you already do, I hope this showed you an effective flow for <laughs> meal prepping your breakfast and lunch. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And with that, that is it for the video today and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today and I'll see you later. Have a great day, bye.